The backstory of Avalon, uh, I've been here six years, but they started in 1997 uh, here in the Cass Corridor. Uh, this originally was the Willis Art Gallery, and there were several places. People were living in some of these spaces, revolutionary books, uh, the Red Door. Uh, so what happened, Jackie and Ann, you know, they just, they lived in Detroit, and they were thinking there was nothing here that anybody needed. There was the food co-op on the corner, but they kind of felt like there was something that they needed to provide the community with something more. And there was nothing to provide them with. You know, there's no grocery store. It was a food desert here. So they came up with the idea of maybe we'll open a bakery. Uh, and maybe, you know, bread is a staff of life and that everybody needed a loaf of bread. So they decided they would open a bakery in this spot. Well, I think it's, that's kind of evolved, especially with the transition of the neighborhood to like becoming Midtown. I think a lot of the people who came here when they got started are still coming here. This is somewhat a destination if you're in the area to come to. It's very community based. Um, they support a lot of local organizations in the area with donations, uh, with their time. Uh, they provide the community with some things that they really needed. Bread, which is a basic staple. They provide that. They also provide community in terms of a lot of people come from different community groups come here and they have meetings here. And uh, they meet with other people. People come here and meet their friends. People bring their families here on the weekend. The bikers come through where they come through the area. They come here. This is like a, a stopping point for them every Saturday. They totally take over the bakery. Uh, it's just kind of a, it's a destination, it's become a destination and it's what I think really symbolizes what Detroit is. I think before they started this bakery here, there was nothing going on in this neighborhood. And I think they're the catalysts that kicked off everything that you see around you happening. I mean, you know, we need good food, you know, Detroit, you know, Prior to now, it's been like a food desert. There are no supermarkets here. There were no restaurants in this area. Not a lot of them. You know, now there's lots of restaurants. People are concerned with eating well now, you know, and I think they believe that they should serve nutritious foods, foods that are healthy, not garbage, you know. And you have the choice to eat whatever you want to, but I think they try to provide the community with solid, nutritional food, not just junk food. I mean, we've got a lot of sweets. We've got a lot of decadent stuff here. We do. But still, they do provide. If you want lunch here, you know, if you want something to eat, something to take home, you know, other than your bread, cheese, there's something here that you can partake of that's really good for you. Yeah.